Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, as far as certain things when I was dealing with like unwanted attention from people, you know, whether if it's like a romantic setting or something else, you know. But the first time I dealt with somebody like that was this girl named uh, Jamie, and this was back in '99 and 2000, as far as that goes, and. Uh, I was just only being friendly with her, and somehow she just misinterpreted it as being interested. Especially at the time when I was working with her in, at the library at that one point, you know. And there were some few instances, you know, where I just wanted nothing to do with her at that point. And... In some ways, I kind of come off as being mean to her at that one point there. And then I simply had told her off there that I was just not interested in her that way. And I just like her as a friend. Yeah. But I think she got the message, but then I think... I don't really remember if, if, uh, if she still continued to bother me at that point. But in some ways... Uh, I continue to complain about her at some point there, and then there was even one point where it wasn't really like that I wanted to leave the adult transition program because of that. It was that was just the tip of the iceberg, and I think I had threatened to leave the program uh, uh, at least a few times there that I had threatened to leave. You know, and then that was where they finally had made some concessions there at that point. And I didn't really interact with that girl that much afterwards, you know. And then in some ways it was like, well, how can I be interested in her anyways because I'm gay, you know. And in that time I was still not out yet. You know. So... Anyways, after I came out, I think the first time I dealt with somebody like that who wouldn't take the hint you know, that I'm not interested was this guy, Matt. And I just liked him as a friend. I wasn't really interested in anything beyond that sort of thing. But the guy wouldn't take no for an answer as far as that goes. And that was sort of the reason why um, when my dad was around... I asked him for some help there, you know, but at the same time, you know, if it, it wouldn't really matter there, you know, because my dad was going to be that way regardless, you know, whether if I was gay or straight, you know, he was going to get in my way with, with some of the other relationships anyways at that point. So, anyways, that is just something I have to kind of point out about all of this here. So, I think how I dealt with Matt there that I think in some ways I wanted to give him a legitimate shot with me. And then I realized that the guy wasn't really generally interested in getting to know me as a person. He was just liking me for my looks and just wanted to hook up with me and yet he acted like he was in love with me, you know, that sort of thing there. And that was the whole reason why I had had uh, stood him up at one point when I agreed to go out on a date with him at that point because I just wasn't really interested in him there. And then I gave him a, a shot there and he just didn't show me why... Um, I should like him better than this other guy that I like, uh, whose name is, uh, Ricky there. You know. And, in some ways, I think I just wanted my relationship with Ricky to get off the ground, so then I could just simply, uh, 
honestly tell him that I was just in, that I was in a relationship with somebody else as far as that goes to tell the truth. I think that was just really the case with a lot of these guys like that. And then every now and then I would probably get messages from guys who were either like too old for me or they live like somewhere across the country or across the world for that matter and want something more than just friendship with me you know and I had gone around and told some of those guys off at least a couple of times that I was just not interested and yet they have a hard time accepting that sort of thing you know if I recall correctly at one point you know where somebody had got all upset with me just because of that you know and, it's, and in some ways, it's just that they don't really even think that logically at that point. They're, you know, that, that how can I have a relationship with that person? They live, like, what, across the country, across the world, for that matter, and they're only interested in me simply because of my looks, as far as that goes? I mean, that's just really stupid, you yeah. Because I even recall one point where I had blocked a guy there because of that. You know, where he seemed like he was only interested in me because I live in Orange County. And he, it seemed like he just didn't want to get to know me as a person besides that sort of thing. There's just more to me than just my looks. More to me than just being an ass me and all this sort of stuff. It's just, it's just simply stupid how certain people could be so shallow and all that. And considering when it comes to, like, the bear community in the first place, you know, there would be some bears that would be that shallow or chasers that would be just that shallow. I mean, one of the reasons why we have that sort of community in the first place was simply because of how we were rejected by these these, uh, the twinks and the gym bunnies just because we're too big or whatever, you know. I even recall at one point, you know, that I got turned down for some stupid reason there, you know, because, like, because I wasn't shaved down there, you know, and, uh, I have like surgical scars down there that covers things, covers it up, you know. You know, and then the other thing was is I was turned down, maybe at least simply because I was circumcised as far as that goes. You know, and it's just asinine when you start to think about how people could be so shallow and all that, you know. So, anyways, I guess that's probably it for today, you know. I mean, because I'm going to have to start focusing on other stuff at this point, you know what I mean? Because I can't really just go around and deal with all these little things like that too often. Otherwise, I'm just going to get bogged down. So, anyways, talk to you guys later.